Hello Model Railroad fans. In this video I'm talking about my programming track. I've got that set up and a little about the uh, landscaping work I'm working on. So over here is my 10-year-old uh, Lenovo laptop with uh, JMRI and I'm connecting it down here to my Arduino and that connects in there's a couple of iPads I have under here charging. There's my MRC advanced controller. This little uh, outlet controls all the electrical work going to the track. So I can turn that off. It turns off all of my uh, district power boosters as well as the uh, main unit. So what I've done up here is I got a toggle switch that I can toggle between track and JMRI. So this programming track is insulated. Got double insulation joiners. Ignore that red mark on my finger. <laughs> Can't trust me with black or red marker. And then down on this other end, I have this little end of track with a light on it. So when I go down to track, he turns on. So yeah, I know I'm on uh, track mode there. Or I know I've gotten power to the programming track, which is now just part of the main track. So let me turn that back to neutral. And then I'm gonna turn it to JMRI. And, ooh, no light. And there's no light because I haven't turned on the power over here on JMRI's, this is Decoder Pro. I turn on the power, and now my little light comes on. Kind of hard to see, but uh, yeah. And when I'm in Decoder Pro, you know, you can't actually run the locomotive. You can read and write the uh, CV settings. So yeah. So if I'm, when I'm in track mode, then I just use my throttle here to control the train to move it off the uh, off the test track. So I'm going to shut off the power. That power went off to JMRI. I got it in this middle setting now, but the power is still on on the computer. So as soon as I switch it back over to the JMRI setting the uh, red light comes on. Now when I go down to the center, now I go down to track power. Excuse me. Now the uh, locomotive comes on. Thanks for watching.